Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the video after we finish with your friends. Uh, we hear in the news every day something new is done by Turkey. And suddenly Turkey became like a lion and nobody dared to talk to Turkey. And you wonder why? I mean, what happened? This is the same Turkey 10 years ago, five years ago. What happened? What happened is very simple. Erdogan, he noticed that in Europe right now, there is no real leaders. What we have in Europe is a bunch of potatoes in the language I use. And as long as we have potatoes, so why I will fear anyone? I can do whatever I wish. So Erdogan is invading Iraq. Erdogan is sending his arm and weapon to Azerbaijan. Erdogan is sending his army all the way to Libya. Erdogan occupying the north of Syria. Erdogan is everywhere. Even he have now a base in Qatar in the same country where USA have the biggest base. So what happened with this Erdogan? Why he is all over the place? While Turkey is a very poor country, economy is horrible, army is horrible, the currency is horrible, the budget is horrible, everything is down, unemployment is horrible. Erdogan, he knew that he had nothing and when you gamble and you have nothing I mean you, you lose nothing I mean what you will lose he knew that this is the perfect time for gambling there's nobody in the table except him or President Trump he is busy with the kids of America you know Americans are like kids they spend the day watching Fox News and CNN and there's only two topics Trump Democrat Republican which is nothing but garbage. Erdogan, he knew that during election time, doesn't matter who is the president, he don't go and make a conflict. This is the best time to play. The lion is busy. He's busy with what? With the stupid stuff. I mean, if you read the news about America, if you watch the news in America, I mean, it's the most horrible, stupid news ever. American before Corona, they were busy about which bathroom should be for transgender. I mean, this was number one topic. This is how what happened when you became wealthy and you do not know what to do. I mean, you see, God bless you with wealth, so you became so spoiled and then you start kicking God. So Americans were busy with the stupid stuff before. Americans are busy today with the stupid stuff as before. Nothing changed. It's just different topic. Republican are bad, Democrat are bad, Trump is right, Biden is right. I mean, all this garbage. And, you know, America, because American, they have something wrong with their brain, sadly. Uh, they want to defund the police. They don't want police no more. I mean, here we go. We go today, we see in uh, Chicago, uh, people, they are going in the funeral. A bunch of cars, they stop and they start shooting at the funeral. There's no police. I mean, this is America, the one is going to be run by Democrats, sooner or later. I find that Democrat is the most horrible party ever. And I now understand why they choose the donkey as their flag. However, Republicans are not better. Republicans are a bunch of businessmen. They don't really care for anything. It's called morality or dignity. All what they care for is business money and how to be rich. Trump, he want to make America rich again. Great again for Trump is rich again. Jobs, economy. But Turkish president going to Hagia Sophia, taking it as a church, Trump, he don't care because he care for America to be great again. And Trump, he hold the Bible when he need it, but Trump, he forget the Bible when it's needed, which means it's just an election business. He don't really care for the Bible. So all this garbage we see in front of us gave Erdogan a lot of opportunity. He had the support of Qatar, a lot of money. Uh, Trump, he announced Muslim Brotherhood to be a terrorist organization, which means the Prince of Qatar is a terrorist. The Prince of Qatar, he rushed to America. He bribed the government of USA with a lot of money. 
he bought a lot of airplanes which they don't use as a bribe and then suddenly Trump he don't speak about Muslim Brotherhood no more because if he Trump he bought sanctions in the Muslim Brotherhood Turkey will collapse Qatar will collapse Erdogan will collapse but this idiot because he worship only one God it's called dollar and money he did that put sanctions in the Muslim Brotherhood however he is busy putting sanctions on China and he is busy putting sanctions on Russia and this is showing you the stupidity of American presidents it doesn't matter who because if you want to fight Iran and this is number one enemy you cannot fight Iran by putting sanctions on Iran and Russia because that will make them close together and they will open the border for each other that's mean Iran do not need America and don't care really for your sanctions in the same time Trump the idiot he allowed Turkey to smuggle all the needs of Iran so they have sanctions on Iran but the fact number one, number one beneficiary is Turkey because they break the law I mean Turkey is a country of a scam mafia gang all the treasure of Syria ancient treasure of Syria ancient treasure of the Assyrian ancient treasure of the Chaldean in Iraq and in Syria been stolen by the Turkish and sold in Europe and everyone know that the oil of Syria was stolen by Erdogan ISIS used to say it for them for two dollars a barrel can you believe it two dollars a barrel and this is not even that the oil of ISIS neither the, uh, the oil of Turkey and in return the Turkish they give them all the weapon they need in their war Erdogan is a mafia leader is a gang the same as Qadarov you know Qadarov the president of Shishenia this is what the Muslim leaders they do they run drugs business they control the, the, their own country economy if, you, if they if they go in the presidency they will never leave until either you I mean you have to do something to get rid of them like what happened in Egypt when the Muslim Brotherhood took over the government you know only 30 million who went in the street was able to take them out with the help of the army Erdogan now he have tens of thousands of his own army inside the jail because he accused them of uh, to do a cue against him however what this had to do with our topic this is all his introduction for what's happening Erdogan he knew that the potato Trump is busy busy with his game stupidity he's so proud about jobs I have a lot of jobs I created a lot of jobs uh, the economy is doing great okay what about outside what about other countries what you did how you do Biden the stupid this guy he don't even remember the name of his mother if you ask him he don't even remember the name of his wife if you ask him actually he forgot the name of his son once he was talking about his son and he start like the, my son uh, 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 he don't know the name of his son he forgot it this is what we have in America we have a bunch of idiots who come to government and then the whole world will pay the price now the Greek they are so stupid sorry to say and I'm talking about the government for a long time <clears throat> the Greek people they depend on Europe and they depend in America for protection but all of us we knew that Europe will never protect you Turkey took half of Cyprus and not even one single European country move their arm or even their fingers to do anything about it actually in the top of that they arm Turkey more and they give them more opportunity opportunity of business and give them mortgages and loan for the government so the Greek people did not learn their lesson the Greek they were fighting the Russian for a long time and when I say fighting I mean helping American everything America put sanctions Greek agree uh, America say Russia we should not have relationship with them the Greek agree but all of us we knew that there is only one person he can help the Greek people if war happened that is the Russian and in this case Putin and look look how stupid the Greek today July 22nd they decide to call Putin where you been where you been all this time why you did not start a good relationship with Putin have a good relationship with Putin even signing a military agreement with Putin so in case someone like Turkey who is way bigger than Greece way more powerful than small tiny country like Greece 
10 million population. You cannot fight Turkey alone. If you depend on America, American, they will never help you. They will never go in war with Turkey. France will never even care. The Italian, haha, meet me in the pizza uh, uh, restaurant. So the Greece now, they feel they are left alone. And Turkey is eating their land step by step. Yesterday, they took a church. Actually, just yesterday, Erdogan was singing a song in Hagia Sophia, singing that Hagia Sophia belonged to Muslims from ever, from ever and forever. The stupid government of Greece, they did not learn their lesson. And the proof of that, look what they did today. The Greek PM Prime Minister called Putin. Why you call him? Go. Go to Russia, you idiot. Those the only one who can spank put spank Erdogan. Not only can spank him, they can hold him up in the city from his balls. Those are the only one can give you a serious arm. You see, the Greece in the previous month as they signed some deals with the American, but what the weapon they gave them garbage, useless. Number one, the Turkish have more than you have. Number two, they have the same as you have. Number three, as long as they have more than you have in the same weapon you have, that means they are more powerful. In order to be more powerful than them, you have to get an arm which they don't have. And the only one have a power, powerful arm which can be given to you is the Russian. So now Erdogan, he understand that in Europe there is no real leaders. They are a bunch of potatoes. Russia, because of the stupid Trump, he put every day more sanctions on Russia. That made Russia more in need to countries like Iran and Turkey. Because there are sanctions on them. The more countries do business with them, the better for them. And here you see the double standard and the hypocrisy of the government of USA and the European Union. When we put sanctions on Russia, all of us, we agree, I mean, European and Western in general, agree that they should put sanctions on Russia. Why? We don't even know. Don't even ask why. In the same time, Turkey break all sanctions and nobody puts sanctions in Turkey, which means sanctions buy, you know, to buy from the Russian is not allowed. To do business with the Russian is not allowed. What about buying weapon from the Russian? It's not even allowed at all. Yet Trump, he did not do anything against Turkey after they bought the 400 missiles. Why? Because he's a potato. And I believe there's something fishy between Trump and Erdogan. Look like Erdogan, because he have a lot of business in Turkey, all what he care for is his money in Turkey. He don't care really whatever Turkey after that do. You notice whatever Turkey do, I mean, except it was the story of the priest because Trump he needed for the election, which is not even important. Trump, he don't care what Turkey does. Turkey now in Libya, Turkey in Syria, Turkey in Azerbaijan, Turkey taking a, a Greek islands. Who, who care? Trump is not even there. Trump, he did not even make a post in Twitter about Hagia Sophia. He was posting about a food he liked. And Erdogan, he is not stupid. He knew that those are not real leaders to fear. Trump can be a person who he can fear after the election. And Erdogan, he knew, in the coming four months, Trump, he would do nothing. Because any conflict, additional to what he have, Corona and all the garbage, with the Democrat, he do not need it. So he will avoid all kind of conflict. Because those people, all what they care for is winning election. They don't care for winning, uh, you know, the future of the nation. He, they care only for their future. This is why actually sometimes I appreciate dictatorship. Dictator, he became a president, he don't go. He does not worry about tomorrow. He do what is good for his country, most of the time. He fight for his country, he's not worrying about, about election. Here we have every four years the same game, the same theater, the same stupidity. You know, he said, she said, and they bring us a bunch of idiots, they put them in the stage. None of them, he knew anything about politics. All of them, they are corrupt. 
all of them they are fraud all of them they are businessmen they have hundreds of billions of dollars in their pocket and then they want to lecture us about how to help the poor this is reality my friend Obama he want to help the poor but he never helped one poor black African instead he made books and his books made millions of dollars in one week his wife she's now selling shoes for every picture they took to her to sell a shoe or a lingerie she take hundreds of thousands of dollars this is what they care for all of them they are businessmen nobody care for nations for dignity for what is right or what is wrong what they care for is how to be a president and make more money all it's about money they worship one god his name is dollar now what the solution with the greece can greece really stop turkey no they cannot who is going to stop them you think by making a phone call with putin that will work will not because you did not establish economic relationship with them you don't have any relationship with them even you force your own orthodox church not to have relationship with the orthodox church of moscow which the only one have power over putin you see when the war started in syria the christians left alone in syria muslims got support from everybody weapon arms fighters from everywhere the only thing was able to help the Christian in Syria that they are Orthodox and they have a great relationship with the church in Moscow the patriarch of Syria he flight he took a flight right away immediately to Moscow he spoke with the patriarch and then they have a secret meeting with Putin in less than 24 hours after the air the the the, 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 the Russian fighters was bombing ISIS and Al-Qaeda, taking back all the Christian towns occupied by them. And actually, if not Russia, all the Christians in Syria would be slaughtered. Those are the ones you can take them a friend. Not the American, not the French, not the Italian, not the German. They don't care for you, Greece. And I want the Greece, if, they, if anyone is listening, I don't want you to depend on Russia to defend you. I want you to fix your relationship with Russia and then convince them to build for you a nuclear facility and make your own nukes. That is the only thing can make you protected. You see, learn from the Israeli, a small tiny nation in the middle of every enemy, surrounded by enemy. If the Muslims and the Arab, and I am an Arab as you know, decide to go against Israel. Based on numbers, Israel will be eaten like eating a chicken in less than 24 hours. We are talking about billions. We are talking about one point something billion human beings who death, who wish the death to Israel every second, every moment. So what is making Israel powerful and nobody dare to attack Israel? Is that because they are friend to America? No. To Russia? No. The only thing making Israel strong is having their own very powerful nukes. The Greece, the Greek people, they are smart, super intelligent. I mean, nobody needs to, to explain how to be, I mean, the philosophy, the history, everything. Go back in history and see who was the Greek people. So what happened to you? Why everybody became advanced and you are still sleeping in the shelf? Greece should learn from Israel. Greece should own nukes. Otherwise, Turkey can swallow you. If Turkey right now decide to invade Greece, who do you think is going to move to say no? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Who? 
Trump, you are right. Trump, he might move only if the Greek people, they are a powerful uh, number in the election in USA. Then Trump, he will move, but I don't think they are. Yahweh help keep his promise to Abraham. What does that mean, my friend? You see, I like when the Christians, they, they try to use the Bible for anything happening in this earth. Yahweh, he keep his promise to Abraham. My friend, Yahweh is my God, and I believe in every word he said. But Yahweh, he said, work, I work with you. Fight, I will be with you. <laughs> what Yahweh? Yahweh, you know, I mean, it's very funny how Christians... They always, they want God to fight for them. They want what? They want God to fight for them. If the Israeli right now, they say, okay, we will give our nukes. And Yahweh, he promised us. Yahweh, our Lord will laugh at them. They will say, this is not what I say. You fight. If God is with me, who could be against me? With me, with me. Not God is alone. So sadly, many Christians, they want God to fight for them. They want God to die for them. They want God to, to shed the blood for them. But they want to watch. We are peaceful. Peace, my friend, is earned by strength. The Messiah, our Lord, he taught us to be peaceful, right? But he said it clearly. The one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. You know, you go to churches, you never see anyone quoting this verse. I wonder why. I mean, I don't even hear one single priest quoting this verse. Are they playing taqiyya? They are like Muhammadan, like Muhammad, the faith in Muhammad. He said, go and buy a sword. Sell your garment and buy a sword. Well, this is Yahweh himself. I mean, God himself. So we need to be smart. You are with God. God is with you. God will be with you, supporting you in your war. But God will not go for war. It's you who go. One of the reasons, actually, Christians, they lose their lands because they became so peaceful to the point they have no teeth. And everybody take advantage of them. Because they are Christians. I remember when I was in the Middle East, Muslims, they said to you, they said to me, you don't, you don't behave like a Christian. I said, what do you mean? He said, anyone who talked to you or do something wrong to you, he beat, you beat him up. <laughs> I said, so they learned, they learned that we Christians, those Christians are nice people. We beat them up, they don't do anything. I mean, how come this guy is not the same? We do something wrong to him, he beat us up. So they learn that the Christians are so peaceful to the point it's a fun to make fun of them, to slaughter them, to kidnap their daughters, to take their churches, to take their lands. You gave them a wrong idea about who you are, and you deserve it. You deserve it. The one who don't defend his land, he don't deserve it. The one who don't deserve his church, he don't deserve it. Imagine you have a wife and somebody came into rape his, your, your wife and you are watching. Not only you don't deserve to be a husband for this woman, you don't even deserve to be a called a man. You are not even a dog because a dog will protect other dog. So it is time for Christian people to understand the logic of evil. Turkey run by an evil man, his name is Erdogan. And he is expanding his arms everywhere. This guy, he is sick and he want power. Turkey is collapsing. And he knew that. He have no resource. He have nothing. And now Corona destroyed the tourism business. Nobody is going to Turkey. And nobody will go anywhere. 
a number one business actually in Turkey is a scam and fraud. So Erdogan, he found that's the only way for him to survive is to go to Libya. So from Libya all the way, imagine how far Turkey, they claim that they have rights in the Mediterranean, in the Mediterranean Sea, in front of Libya. You believe it? And he supported the Muslim Brotherhood government, which is sadly a government agreed upon by the stupid European Union. You believe it? I mean, a government made by the filthy Obama. If you remember, when Hillary Clinton, she went to Libya, she met only one, one, one person, one person from Libya. It was the head of the Muslim Brotherhood. So the government right now, which is exists in Libya, the Muslim Brotherhood government is made by the CIA. And America forced every European country to accept them as an official government. Erdogan, he loved it. Stupid American, they did the job for him. And now they have an official Muslim Brotherhood government in Libya. But what happened that other forces in Libya don't agree with that and they will not let the Muslim Brotherhood take over the country. And now Egypt is supporting those force and they are located all the way to this area here. Erdogan, he sent his armed forces and he is preparing as we speak actually to attack those forces so he can take all over Libya. However, the Egyptian, they promise that if uh, Erdogan, he passed this red line here, the Egyptian will send their forces and they will go in war with Turkey. However, I don't believe Egypt will go in war. Egyptian government, they speak too much, they say nothing. Unless they do it, I don't believe it. And mostly, they don't. However, because they have fear from the Muslim Brotherhood to be so close to their borders, so it's possible that the Egyptian, they will go in a war, but let us say it's a limited war and it's going to be from behind the wall, which means supporting those forces, which is run by a general, his name Haftar, arming him. So if Greece is, you know, is going to do a good job, they should fix their problems with many countries around, join forces with other countries who they have a problem with Turkey, as an example, Armenia. Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Bahrain, all those countries are number one enemy to Turkey. They have to be smart. Just a few days ago, actually, the Greek people, they did something very smart, which I like very much. They did make an agreement of running a pipeline for gas all the way from Israel to Cyprus and from Cyprus to Greece. And guess what? The Turkish president did not dare to say anything because Israel here is involved in the story. So the potato, he did not even dare to say meow. If it was only Cyprus, and Greece project, Erdogan will eat them alive. But because the project is done and signed by the Israeli, so Erdogan don't dare to get it close. Somebody saying CP is a war general. Did you play a lot of board? I think this is the most stupid statement ever. I was in the army, my friend, and I serve in the army. So I was a soldier. Actually, I joined USA Army during the Iraqi war. So you are a silly and a stupid idiot. And if a man, he cannot be a soldier, he cannot be a husband, he cannot be a person of honor, and he cannot be a man. So you, for you, because you are just a kid, you think that those who speak about war, they are people who play games. That's you, because you are just a kid. You never hold a gun machine in your hand. You hold a joystick. 
and you are wondering what this guy is talking about. Go play with your games. We need real leaders. We do not need potatoes. Enough is enough. Actually, as we speak now, let me let me show you where Erdogan now his forces all over the place. Erdogan, as we speak now, he have forces in this area. Let us make it. In this area, he have forces in this area. He have in, he's invading, as we speak right now, north of Iraq, occupying big area. And he is occupying, as we speak, big part of north of Syria. And just recently, he announced he's going to deport about 700 to 800 fighters to Azerbaijan in the borders with Armenia. And now they are expanding their power here, trying to take over Greece. So look at, actually, I forgot one. I forgot Qatar. So you have to add Qatar to the map. So we have to go all the way to the Gulf. So all the way from Qatar to the north of Iraq, to the north of Syria, to the middle of Cyprus, to Azerbaijan, to Libya. This is where Turkey is exist right now. And why is this is happening? Because European, they play the game we don't care. He go to Syria, he steal the treasure of Syria, he take the oil of Syria, they don't care. He support Azerbaijan, they don't care. He occupy Libya, they don't care. So what the stupid European doing, they are giving a chance to Turkey to become a superpower by location, not necessarily by military. Because if Erdogan is able to control all of these countries, look, look what we are talking about. Actually, this is what the plan was in the war in Syria, that Erdogan, which means the Muslim Brotherhood, they are going to control all those territories. So. The Caliphate Erdogan will be his borders all the way from Europe to Armenia. He will take over Syria. And Jordan, most of it is Muslim Brotherhood. Just a week ago, actually, the, the king of Jordan, by the help of uh, some friends, he was able to uh, dismiss the Muslim Brotherhood party. So the, the plan is we take over Syria, then we take over Jordan. And they took over Egypt already, actually, when, when the, the Muslim Brotherhood won the election. And the plan was, is to take it all the way from Tunisia. And if you do not know, Tunisian government is Muslim Brotherhood already. So look what will happen. All of this territory was going to be part of the Caliphate state. And actually, the Muslim Brotherhood, they were planning to take over Saudi Arabia and Emirat. And already they are taking over Qatar. So the plan was so big and so huge to establish a caliphate state. And the one was behind this plan is the CIA. The stupid CIA, as usual, evil, nothing good of them. They never do good. They never practice good. They never plan for good. The plan of the CIA was very simple. Al-Qaeda is a dangerous thing. So we are going to find a moderate Muslims. That is the Muslim Brotherhood. So the stupid evil CIA convinced leaders in USA that if we make the Muslim Brotherhood take over those countries, then the Muslims will not feel that they are like, they don't live the dream. They want to live the dream. What is dream is to have an Islamic state. Give an Islamic state, give them an Islamic state. But look how stupid they are. If really Erdogan was able to accomplish his dream, to run a state all the way from this area. Jordan and Saudi Arabia actually, because this is why Saudi Arabia announced Muslim Brotherhood to be terrorist group, because simply they were trying to take over. And Emirat. 
So all this territory was going to be the Islamic State, the new Islamic State as a start. And Erdogan was going to be announced as the Caliphate. This was the plan. Then the Russian, thank God that Russia is exist in the map, and thank God that, 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 that America is not the only big country in this world. And thank God is not the American control the world. Because wherever the American goes, and I'm talking about government, excuse my language, shit go with them. Wherever the American, and I'm talking about government, go, shit, go with them. And one of their shit is Erdogan. They are the one who made him do what he is doing now. They close their eyes on him. They support him. And all of this is in return that you don't make noise about Israel. Forget about Israel. You will notice Israel is only in the mouth of Erdogan when he wants something from America. Anytime he wants America to do something, he say Israel. He complain, Israel, Israel. So they shut him up. They give him what he wants. He's like a dog. He say, how, how? I want a bone. And instead of saying, how, how? He say, Israel, 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 Israel. China does not exist. You see, China, sadly, China, I'm not talking about Chinese. China is an immoral country. They have no morality. All what they care for is about making money. Whoever makes them money, they are there. It doesn't matter who you are. So China does not exist as a country because they had no target except making money, business. And they are no match to America in, in case of war. And they are far from getting, getting to be matched to America, even though they can be in the future, but not now. So for now, the Chinese are busy making themselves rich. Their product in every house in, in the world, that's what they care for. They don't care for what you do. Your occupation, not occupation, who cares? That is not their business. You are good, you are bad, who cares? So the Chinese are not really exist in the map of doing right and good. All what they care for is their own business. And again, I'm talking about the Chinese as a government, not the people. People in China, they have no idea what the government is doing. They are just poor people. There's conspiracy. No, you see what happened. Erdogan, he was planning to announce Hagia Sophia to be a mosque. Right after Netanyahu decided to take part of the East Bank, or sorry, of the West Bank. So he will make it, okay, you took here, I took here. But then Netanyahu, he decided to change the date because his boss, Trump, he told him not to do it now because of the election. So Erdogan, for him, it was embarrassing, but we will do it. I mean, what they will do? There's no leaders in those Christian countries. Look at Germany, they did nothing. France did nothing. And they make some articles in newspaper, nothing. Not even one of them make a sanction. Now European Union is moving to make sanctions, but not because of Hagia Sophia. Even though Hagia Sophia, it might be the main reason. They will use other excuses. But those sanctions are very shy. You know, it's like uh, they will make some little wound in Turkey, but nothing serious. Stupid sanctions, nothing serious. So I say, Greece need to go back to its roots. And the roots, the, the strength of Greece, is to go back with its sisters and brothers' countries. And those are not in Italy. Italy never called for Greece. Actually, if Italy called for Greece, Constantinia will never be down. This should be the borders of Let us say, the friends of Greece, Greece, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria, Moldova, Belarus, all the way to Ukraine and then Russia. Those are the family. Those are Orthodox Church. 
So they have already a very strong tie together. It's the Orthodox Church, and all of them, they are very, very, very attached to the church. That can unite them. That can make them a major force. But look what the CIA did. Just a year ago, they made the Ukrainian church separate itself from the Russian church. What does this have to do? How you separate a church because of politics? Because obviously there's a lot of corruption. And the one who decides the church is united or not is not a priest. It is a CIA agent. So the poor Ukrainian, they are under the influence and the control of USA. All of you, you know that in the time of Obama, Ukraine became a territory of USA. Actually, right now, if I fly to Ukraine, I can stay there for a year without even a visa. Why? Because I'm, Ameri I'm an American. You can buy land, you can buy all of Ukraine and just bring your money. In the top of that, if you remember that the son of Biden, he'd been given a very high job in an oil company in Ukraine. All of this because USA control in Ukraine. They promise Ukraine that if you go separate yourself from Russia, we will support you. We will make you rich. We will bring you to European Union. And those naive Ukrainian people, with my love to them, they believe the Western people. And they are waiting. Keep waiting, my friend. You made the wrong decision. The best friend for you is the Russian. And the one who can make you rich is the Russian. European Union will never make you rich. Go and see what happened to Romania. Is Romania rich now? They are part of European Union for a long time now. Are they rich? No. Go to Bulgaria. Are they rich? No. Go to Greece. Are they rich because they are part of your No. Rich countries in European Union is the only one will stay rich. The rich, the rest will stay poor. Actually, European Union make other countries in Europe more poor. Poland. All the young Polish people they are in Germany, most of them. Romanian, you find them in France, you find them in Germany, you find them in Austria. Taxi driver, pizza delivery, farming business, give them little money. You're still poor and you will never be rich. They fool you. So they strip themselves out of their family, which is Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Ukraine, Russia, Belarus, Moldova. They join the team of business. Those they are doing business, they don't care for you. Look what happened when Corona started. All European Union, they closed their borders from European Union. So where is the Union? They left Italy alone. Italian people were dying and nobody sent any help. What is European Union? This European Union is a business union. This is why Turkey, they understand very well that Greece is part of European Union is nothing because there is no union in the union. All what they care for is a business. We open borders to make business, but there is un no union for an army. There is no union for power. There is no union for weapon. There is none. This is why now Germany is a crying asking USA, please don't take your troops. I mean, how dare you, you stupid idiot. To be a German, and you need the protection of USA, shame on you. Shame on you. Germany one day, it used to be a country scaring the hell of the world. What happened to you? They are kissing the shoes of a Trump. Stay, please, stay. Why? What happened? Because this country is run, run by liberals. They don't even spend budget in their army. They don't even have an army. So if you think about it right now, if Turkey decide to attack Greece, Bulgaria, Romania, Moldova, Croatia, who's going to stop them? Nobody. They can invade and take over Europe as what happened before. The only problem is the American and the Russian. That's it. If those are not exist, Turkey can swallow them. And this is what they did before. Many people do not know that the Turkish occupy most of Europe. 
most of Europe occupied by the Turkish. Many of you do not know that the Turkish used to kidnap Ukrainian girls and Moldovan girls and Romanian girls to rape them, to make them as sex slaves. Many of you do not know that the Sultan, he used to force all leaders of those countries to send their sons and their daughters to be hostages, to live in there in the Turkish Sultan palace as hostages. This is what happened. When you don't have united European army. Europe need a united army, not united union for business. Because such a union without army, one army, is useless. And then now they depend all of them on USA. Somebody saying Croatia stopped Turkey. I don't think so, my friend. Nobody stopped Turkey. I mean, they occupy you for long. What do you stop? How do you stop them? Yes, after some time, I mean, people, they make resistance. They fought. When the Turkish Empire became weak, you were able to take back your land. But the fact, they ate you alive. And this is what they are doing right now. Right now, Turkey is trying to take over again. They notice that those European countries are busy in the beach. They are run by liberals. They lost the spirit of warriors. They have nobody to fear in Europe. And that is making the invasion is so easy. Very easy. The Turkish army is weak. Is weak compared to the, the, his fighting who? You see, when people they speak, I, I laugh. Turkish army is weak, but go to weak compared to who? To Greece? No. If we compare between a Greece army and Turkish army, we will laugh. What are you talking about? This is a Greece army. Total population is 10 million. Available manpower, 4,9993. Fit for service, 4 million. Go to Turkey. What are you talking about? Total population is 81 million, available for manpower 41 million. So in Greece we have available 4 millions, they have 41 million. Reaching military age every year 1.4 million in, in Turkey. How many in Greece? One hundred four thousand. So we are talking about one to ten almost. The power. One to ten. And that goes for airplanes, that goes for tanks, that goes for everything. So Turkey is weak if they want to fight USA. USA will eat Turkey in, in 24 hours, the same as they did to Saddam Hussein. There's no question about that. Turkey is weak if they want to play with, 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 with the Russian, but not with Serbia. Those are small countries. You see, the problem is that those nations, the European, they made you small. They, they divide you. When I say the European, I'm talking about those who they are, the, the capitalism, empire, France, England. They made you small countries, Bulgaria. But there is nothing called Bulgaria, really. Those countries used to be one country. Moldova is, Ro is Romania, and Romania is Moldova. Serbia should not be supported from those countries. There should be one country. They separated you in order to make you an easy shish kebab so they can eat you like hummus. 
And now the Turkey, when they are attacking Greece, is Bulgaria an alarm? No. Is Romania an alarm? No. Is Serbia an alarm? No. Croatia? No. Actually, they make you enemy for each other. So they will eat you one by one. Each one of you will watch his brother dying and being eaten by the beast. And you think you are not next. History repeat itself, my my friend. History repeat itself. You cannot fight the devil and you are not united with the good ones. Put your force together. The all the all the evil agenda is divide and conquer. And Europe is divided. Turkey will not dare even to get close to Greece if this is really united or union of Europe. But it's not. It's just a business union. Do you think really Turkey will dare to play games of all those countries was one country? What do you think? Do you think really Turkey will dare to play with all those? All of those? They want to fight all of those together. They will never even dare to fart at Greece because then they knew Greece is part of all of this power. But as long as just a smaller Greece, 10 million, we took half of Cyprus, nobody did do anything. Those people did depend in their, you know, protection in USA. And USA is a business corporation country. The president is making America great. That's it. He will not make you great Greece. He will not make you great Europe. Actually, the American right now, as we speak, they are trying to make Europe weaker. This is why they are supporting Turkey. Because the more they put the pressure in European Union, and the more this European Union collapse, the more America can do better business with them. This is why when UK left the European Union, it was a party time in USA. So now UK can go to the normal business as before with USA. Actually, USA is putting sanctions on uh, the oil uh, uh, line coming from Russia to Europe. And any country will make the, the, the pipe run, like Bulgaria, etc. The, the, the uh, America trying to put sanctions on them. Why? I mean, Russia is very close to Europe and the price of gas is way cheaper. I'm talking about like the heating gas. America have a lot of gas, they want to say it. So buying from the Russian is not for their benefit. So what they do? They put sanctions in European Union. In other way, they are trying to make European Union collapse. So America is not your protector. America is really trying to make you get weaker and always depend on them. And this is what happened now with Germany. When Trump announced that he would take his troops from Germany, the German, they felt naked. They have no protection. They have no army. If you go and see the spending of Germany on their army, you will die laughing. I think the German, they spend more money in buying uh, computer games from the money they spend on the army. There's no army in Germany. Who is going to defend this country if something happened? This is why they are terrified when the USA announced they will take off their army. Will Russia defend the Orthodox? Well, if the Orthodox don't want Russia, the, the Russian will not defend you. <laughs> you see, you fight the Russian. You, both, you agree with sanctions. And then you are asking them to be Orthodox. Now you remember them Orthodox? Greece agree in all the sanctions against Russia. Romania agree in all the sanctions against Russia. Ukraine. You name it. And now you want the Russian to protect you. This is why I laugh when I, I see the news that the Greece Prime Minister is calling Putin. Now you are calling Putin? Now? Don't you think it's too late? But because they felt 
that they have no friends. The Americans are a bunch of liars. The European Union is a European of onion, not union. There's nothing but the smell coming. The only benefit of them is opening the borders. And opening the borders does not do any good to Greece, actually. They are even forcing them to take refugee, even if they don't want them. They are forcing Greece to be a secular country, even though the country is very religious. They are forcing, sec like, force, forcing uh, belief in Greece and etc. I mean, all of this is coming from your Nothing is coming good from European Union. In France, the church, they have every month somebody come from the government to listen to the speech to see if there is something the government don't agree on the speech in the church, you believe it? And they say to you, this is Europe. And if the priest, he says something, and the government don't agree with him, they shut the, they shut, they shut the mouth of the priest, they kick him out. They will not allow him to preach anymore. This is a France. So I say, to those who they are from the, you know, you, you know me, I don't like to divide Christians between Orthodox and, or, and Catholic and Protestant, but this is the scenario. This is what's happening. The only one can help you right now, Greece, is those who they are Orthodox. For sadly, the rest are doing business. Christians in America, they are doing business now. They are busy with the Trump. They don't care for you. The Turkish, they took Hagia Sophia, they didn't take Hagia Sophia, they are not even there. They did not even mention it. If I am the Prime Minister of Greece, I will announce immediately that I will lift all sanctions against Russia, and I will not agree with any. I will make the Russian, even I will give them, actually, I will be happy to do that. I will give them a piece of land. You see, here, there's tons of, of, uh, of empty islands. Tons, you know how many? M many. You will not believe it how many islands Greece has. And all of them, they are empty, totally unoccupied. What if the Greek people, they put little base for the Russian here? Let us see if the Turkish would dare to get it close. Hmm? Actually, what about the Greek now? They announced that the land which the, the Turkish trying to take over it, we want to give it to the Russian. That's it. The Turkish cannot go through you unless they go through the Russian. You see, not long time ago, the Armenian, they did sign an agreement with the Russian to give them a piece of land to make a base. However, the Armenian is not too smart. I mean, they did not make really a full agreement on defending Armenia. They just gave them a base. And now the only thing Armenia have against Turkey is this little base which they give to the Russian. That's it. Otherwise, all of us, we knew that Armenia is not a match to fight Turkey. They cannot fight Turkey. Small, tiny country called Armenia. How they can fight such a huge country next to them? Armenia has no borders to the ocean. None. Armenia now, because of the CIA, surrounded by countries who they are considered enemy to them. Georgia, sadly, which is an Orthodox country, they took the side of America, the CIA specifically. And now, they are not good with the Armenian. Actually, Georgia now became a big base for the terrorist. Islamic terrorist groups, they are building bases inside Georgia. So look at Armenia, surrounded by enemy from every direction. This is their border with Azerbaijan. This is their border with Turkey. <laughs> and here there is borders in Iran. And this is Azerbaijan. That's it.
They can't even breathe. See how easy for Turkey to eat this country alive? Not to mention that half of Armenia actually, all this area is Armenia. This is all is Armenia. Already more than half of Tur uh, Armenia is occupied by the Turkish. The only one can defend Armenia now and save them is the Russian. That's the only hope. If Turkish invaded Armenia, do you think uh, Trump would move? Eh, no. He will make a, a Twitter. He will make a tweet. Who's going to move? Who's going to protect them? Nobody. They've been slaughtered by the Turkish before, more than a million and a half. And they can slaughter the rest of them now as we speak. No, I'm not going to open my Skype. I'm going to, I have to go soon. But I just wanted to share with you and my advice to the Greek people, never trust the American if they say to you, protect you. They never do. You can't trust Israel. They never do. You can't trust Europe. They never do. There's only one person or one country can help you. That is Russia. The rest, they will be happy to give barbecue sauce to Turkey to make you a barbecue. Only one country can help you. And this is why the Prime Minister, as we speak today, he decided to call, finally, the President of Russia. Finally. What is when Putin is dead? It doesn't matter who is, who is there, Putin or not. Russia is Russia. You see, many people do not know the history of Russia. Russia is the only country sponsoring Christians around the world. And the CIA are trying to weaken the Orthodox Church. They divide the Orthodox Church. Ukraine now is not part of Russia. That to weaken Russia, they don't care for Ukraine. Ukraine is bankrupt now. Russia is very wealthy. They told Ukraine, if you separate yourself from them, we will make you wealthy. Russia was supporting the Christians centuries. The king of Russia, the Caesar of Russia, he sold Alaska to send money to the Christians. To the Christians in Lebanon and Syria and Iraq. When the Shishinian, the Turkish, they start killing the Christians. The Russian, they invade Shishinia. And they told the Turkish, you stop killing the Christians there, we stop here. They made you hate Russia for no reason. And you can say whatever you want about Putin, he's good, he's bad, I don't care. But when it's come to the future of your nation, that is the future. Russian are really friends. Look what happened in Syria. In Syria, everybody became an enemy to the regime in Syria. USA, Europe, sanctions, kick the, uh, the uh, ambassador. I mean, this guy in Syria, he have no friends no more. The Christians in Syria, they saved Syria. How? Because of the Russian. If not them there, the Russian will not be there. If not them there, having a great relation with Russia, today Syria will be an ISIS state. While USA and Europe was sending arms and weapon and money to arm the criminals, the terrorists, Al Qaeda. Actually, until now, you see Trump. He keeps saying we demolish ISIS, we demolish ISIS. But what about Al Qaeda? There's more than 300,000 fighters of Al-Qaeda in this territory in, in, in Syria. That's it. America don't care for Al-Qaeda no more. They are our friends. When the last time you heard any American leader speaking about Al-Qaeda, what happened? 
Why they forget about them? Because Al-Qaeda is their game. When they want, they are the enemy. When they want, we forget about them. When we want, we make them friends. When we want, we arm them. All this territory here is controlled by Al-Qaeda, the biggest base in the world. Three to four millions under the control of Al-Qaeda in this ter territory. Under the protection of Turkey and USA and the West. Always Western government, they do the evil against the good. Sadly. During the war in Syria, I was watching how Obama sending $600 million to who? To those who shout Allahu Akbar and they destroy our churches. Not a single penny sent by Europe to arm the Christians in Syria. Shia, they got the support of Iran. Sunni, they got the Sunni support from everywhere in the world. Christians, nobody support them. Not only that, the Western, they send money and weapons to kill the Christians in Syria. My friend, when somebody says that Hezbollah and the Iranian, they push back, uh, Turkish from Syria, that's, that's a big fat lie. The only one was fighting is the Russian. Just go, go back, just go back, read the history. Almost, almost, I was watching the news day by day. The Iranian, they run, Hezbollah run, everybody run. The one who stopped the invasion of Al-Qaeda, it was the Russian. You can do this, you can go right now and search when the date the Russian they start their attack in Syria and read all the news before that week you will see where was Hezbollah they were running where was Iran they were running Syria was almost 90% occupied by terrorists what Hezbollah this is a joke it is the Russia my friend The Russian, they are the one who defeated ISIS and Al-Qaeda in Syria. They are the one who protect the Christians in Syria. Hezbollah is a bunch of cowards. If not the Russian, they will not even be there. In one day, actually, let me show you this. People are very naive and they say things which is very funny. Even though I have to go, but it's okay. When when the uh, when the Russian get involved, ISIS almost is bigger than Syria and Iraq together. I mean, <laughs> Hezbollah. Uh, you people make me. Ignorance is amazing, same as stupidity. This is what happened in Syria, my friend, before the Russian get involved. Are you blind? Hezbollah is the one who wears Hezbollah. Where was the Iraq? Iraq, eighty percent to ninety percent are Shia. Where's Hezbollah? Where's Iran? Look, more than half of Iraq under the ISIS. More than 90% of Syria is under ISIS and the rest either by the regime or by Al-Qaeda and Muslim Brotherhood. All this black is ISIS. Where was Hezbollah? Then the Russian they came and the game changed. And then you will see Trump, he go in the news. We defeated ISIS. You are right. No, you did not. The main reason for ISIS to be defeated, it was the Russian. You know, when the Russian, they, they bomb, they bomb with no mercy. 
they don't care for something called a smart weapon. They use a stupid weapon, which means everybody go. They send everybody to hell. You can go watch the Russian helicopters attacking ISIS in YouTube. You will not believe it. I mean, those Russian, they have no heart. And I say no heart means they have no fear. They don't fear death. There is some some uh, some videos. If you watch them, you will, you will not believe it. And, and we, I mean, like you can search. You can search and watch. Those Russian airplanes, they are they are like a flying tanks. You shoot at them, you do nothing to them. So they are so close to the ground, yet they are destroying everything in their way. And this is what changed everything. Iranian have no airplanes in Syria. They have no smart weapon in Syria. They have a, just a crazy fighter shouting Allahu Akbar, Labbaika ya Hussein, for the sake of Hussein, for the sake of Fatima. Those they use them just to occupy a land after they clean it. So the Russian they clean it and then they send Hezbollah to do the business. Half of the Christians in Syria are Catholic. That is the most funny news I heard. The Catholic in Syria is not even 5% between the Christians. The majority are Greek Orthodox. Almost there is no Catholic in Syria. Almost. We cannot compare the numbers actually. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know where people they get their information from. I have no idea. This is why I say, be careful when you read the internet, what people say. All right. A Muslim Kurdish girl? I don't know. As I know, the, the Kurdish are not Muslims. Since when the Kurdish are Muslims? The Kurdish actually, they are, they are, they are coming to Christianity by waves. Yeah. Uh, your cousin who was a priest in Syria, he was a murderer. Yeah, he was murdered. Okay, many priests, many bishops, they've been, been killed. Two Orthodox bishops, they've been slaughtered. They kidnapped, and nobody knows what happened to them. Yeah, but the number of Catholic in Syria is very small, very tiny. Extremely tiny compared to the Orthodox. The number of Catholic in Lebanon is big. Not in Syria. Anyway, for me, I don't care, Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. For the Muslims, you are Christian. They don't ask you, by the way, if you are Catholic or you know, those terrorists there, they knew you are Christian, they kill you. They don't care if you are Catholic or Protestant. But we are talking about politics today, because sadly, those names became politics. They are not about religion no more. It's, it's just pure politics. Yeah, maybe she can call me uh, uh, some other time, this Kurdish girl. She is welcome. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to say thank you for being here. Tomorrow we will be live on air again. And our topic is answering somebody claim to be Ustaz from Indonesia. Those idiots, they say things that make me laugh. And you notice that those people from Indonesia uh, who want to attack me, they don't put my name in the title no more. Which means they don't want me to know that I am. they are speaking about me. You know what I mean? So they make a title has no name, no nothing about my name anymore. When all the video is about me, you know, all the video is supposed to respond to me, but nothing in the title is about me and they write the title only in Indonesian language. So supposedly I will not learn about it or I will not know about it. All right. Bishtuan uh, Abdullah is a, is a Kurdish. All right, no problem. 
Do you think this talk will make a change? Yes, my friend, talk make a change. John Olive. You see, this is what I don't like when a Christian, they, look what a Christian they do. Christian, they don't want to do something literally, and they don't even want to talk. I mean, so what do you want me to do? Do you think the stock will change anything? Yes, will change. Well, what Jesus did? Did he take an army? Did he take a sword? He talked. What Peter did? What Paul did? This is why Muslims, they fear those who fight Islam by talking, not the one who fight by the sword. You fight by the sword, you die by the sword, you you know, you, you die with your with your sword. But the one who fight by the word, who can he can change the word. Stop being an idiot. If you don't talk, teach the generation about your right and the wrong and the and the good. Who will talk? So why you live? What for? You will not defend your country and you will not talk and you don't want to what do you want why you are here go watch cartoon just to tell you what talk can do if you go right now and search in indonesian language my name you will see every indonesian muslim speaking against me I mean, who is me? No one. Why? Because I talk. I talk and I make Muslims leave Islam. And that can conquer Islam more than the sword. This is what the Christians, generally speaking, they are good about. They don't want to do anything. They want God to do everything for them. They don't want to talk. They don't want to preach. They don't want to teach. You know, you go to those uh, priests, especially those who they call themselves priests, they take salary. No, they have salary every month. People make donations to the church. The priests, like Muhammad, they take half of it to their pocket. Yeah, it's a post, it's a salary. He's not a student, it's salary. Okay. But then you ask them, how many Muslim you brought to Christ all your life? He will say to you, uh, oh, no, no, why do I need to do that? So why are you are a priest? Why are you are a priest? What is the job of a priest? Why you take a salary? What is your job exactly? To go in a funeral? What do you do? my videos is all over indonesian channels tens of thousands of indonesian actually there's some videos they've been seen by millions which mean from every you know couple of muslims in indonesia there's one he saw one of my videos at least a lot of muslims leaving islam because of my videos so we should not maybe talk why we not talk talking is not right they wish I will stop talking. They pray for their God. Their problem that I am talking. So you Christians, stop being silenced. They fear you talking. Especially when you make sense. Because then you can earn hearts and change hearts and change belief. And the one who is a terrorist, he will become a saint. That's why they fear you. Do you understand why we should talk? All Islamic countries, if you say something, you go to jail. Why? Because they fear you talking. They fear talking. This is their fear. Look at those videos.
456,000 six months ago. Isn't it amazing that half a million they watch a video in Indonesia? Look at the numbers. So should we talk or we shall not? Now we arm with the Christians with a lot of power. Nobody can make fun of you as a Christian no more. No did that, no potato, no tomato. We smashed them. A Christian kid right now can destroy Islam in two minutes. What's wrong with talking? And since when talking will not do anything. But remember, talking is always is establishment for an act. So our talk is an act. It's not just a talk. Our talk will make churches. Our talk will open doors. Our talk will convert countries. And they fear us. Okay, Ron. Maybe another time you can you can uh, you can tell us about the story of your cousin. Many stories there. Let me look at this. I don't know even the title. I can't even read the title. Anyway, <clears throat> Christians today, sadly. They learn from their churches and their parents that you should not talk. And that made the Islam flourish. Because a Christian don't attack any other religion. We Christian, we should not attack other religion. We should talk only about Jesus. Who told you that? Where in the Bible it says that? Where? Jesus, he called even those who worship Yahweh. They are Jews. He called them hypocrites. He called them sons of a snake. He called them evil. Maybe Jesus was not following the teaching of Jesus. Maybe, according to those people. They don't want you to attack Islam. So century after century after century, Christian, they don't have ability to, uh, to answer any religion. Because we learned since early age from our stupid priest, for he's a false priest doing business, that we should not talk about our religion. That's not right. Who said so? Is that the Bible? A priest who is busy and look look at those priests if you say the word Catholic they will be happy to attack the Catholic or say the word Protestant they will be happy to attack the Protestant or Orthodox vice versa you say Islam they became okay we should not talk about Islam we, we, this is not right this is not right this is a hate teaching attacking each other is not a hate teaching dividing the Christians is not a hate teaching Speaking against Islam is a hate teaching. Those are corrupt priests. They are not priests. They are priests of the devil. They are priests of the devil. Their job 24 hours, 7 days a week is to divide the Christians. So Islam will take over. In the same time you ask them a question about Islam, they don't dare to say anything. For they are coward, false, fake. And that time is over. Actually, there's many, they claim to be priests, they attack me. They speak against me. Why? Because they feel they are threatened. They feel they are threatened. Their business is not good, no more. 
People wonder, where are you? How come you don't do the same as this guy? Why you don't do the same? People start asking questions, and that is not good for them. What do you do when you say you are a priest? What is your job? Is that the one who go in the church, stand in the front of people, say a few words from the Bible? We do not need that. We can read the Bible by ourselves if this is the job. We want somebody to teach our children how to answer, how to refute. We want someone, if somebody make fun of the Bible, he will be able to make the one who's making fun look like an idiot by saying the truth. We don't want someone to recite verses for us in the Bible. We don't know how to recite them. We don't want somebody to read for us what is written in the Bible. We know what is written there. We want teachers, not businessmen. And all days are over. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here. And we will be tomorrow with you in the morning. Feel free to read my books. If you are from Indonesia, we have my books for free already. And more books we publish in Russian, Albanian, Malay language, all they were for free. And soon I will publish a book in Polish for free too. And the rest of my books, you can find them in Amazon.com. Thank you very much. I appreciate having you all. We pray for Greece. We pray for all the Greek people to be st strong, smart, against the evil of the Ottoman Empire. They are back, and they are more aggressive, and I don't blame them. The hyena will never turn into a sheep. So why the sheep think the hyena became a sheep? If you think so, that's your fault. Never turn your back to the hyena. Never ever think the hyena is peaceful. He's a hyena, he's a god, he's a hyena. And that's what hyena do. He shed the blood. He slaughtered the sheep. Be smart, be vigilant, be peaceful. But being peaceful doesn't mean being coward and being stupid. Never be. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam made by a false man for the dummy man. And I am not a dummy. Thank you.